Another group of seniors in Nevada City say that they've been without power for nearly a week now and all as they try to self-isolate. So what's being done to get the lights back on? CBS 13's Ryan Hill spoke with pg &E and one couple desperate to get out of the dark. Oh my gosh. Here we are. Middle of March. This is John Brackett filming the snow dumping at his Nevada City home. I spoke to him over the phone as he and his wife Lori are self-isolating because of the coronavirus. It's like camping, but you're not doing it for fun. Flying down, helicopter somewhere. Hopefully they're coming to fix this. But John, Lori, and 11 of their senior neighbors are doing it without power. The brackets are using a generator sparingly, but are using firewood to keep warm and cook. These people can't get out. They can't get in. They're running out of gas. They're running out of propane. And here we sit. It's been five days since that line went down. The couple has called PG&E to see when power would be restored and aren't satisfied with the response. And they repeat what the situation is and that we will have power estimated tomorrow. Generally, it's like 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. and tomorrow never comes. PG&E says sometimes when an estimated time is given and crews aren't able to get to an area, those restoration times then have to be adjusted. While the utility says it understands the hardship, it maintains its crews are doing everything they can to repair the damage. I want to blame them, but they're doing what they can do. So. Well, PG&E says approximately 12,000 customers in the foothills are without power. It has more than 150 crews working 24-7 trying to get things back on.